Hey, if you're still looking for a last minute gift for something like Mother's Day coming up, I'm gonna show you how to do that with something as easy as a clear glass plate from Dollar Tree, some paper napkins, some dishwasher safe Mod Podge, and a foam brush. We're gonna turn all this into something as beautiful as this. And we're gonna do that right now. And I'm Teresa, and this is Celebration Elevation. So to get started, you're gonna get any size of the clear glass plates they carry at Dollar Tree. I have this one that's dinner size and I have some of these that are more like a dessert or luncheon size. And then any paper or napkins that you like, we're just gonna open them up and you're gonna tear them apart to expose just the first, the top layer, which is the colorful layer. So I actually started this how-to video on a previous video but it became such a long video that I broke it down into two parts. So we're gonna get started on the second part of that video, which is the first part of this video, if I haven't confused you enough. And I'm gonna show you how to make these beautiful plates that you can give someone. Let's get started and I'll show you what we're gonna do. Right now I have four of these that I'm gonna do. And with these, you wanna use this Mod Podge that is a dishwasher safe glass and that will make them, I honestly do not wash these in the dishwasher when I do this. I wash them by hand with just some um, soap and a sponge, like a light, uh, you know, just be careful with it because I want them to last a long time. Um, so anyway, this is the Mod Podge you wanna use for that. So, um, these, anyway, I'm, I'm doing like a set of four. And you can do this, and this would be nice for, or a set of six or whatever you wanna do, cause they're only $1.25 each. Um, and most napkins come with like, I don't know, 12 or more <laughs> napkins in it. So um, the first thing you wanna do is, Dollar Tree uses the most sticky adhesive on their little tags, I feel like but I just soaked them in warm soapy water in my sink. Then I came along with one of those like plastic scrapers, scraped all the paper part off, and then it still left some of the sticky film. And you don't want that because you don't want it to show through because basically we're gonna do the napkin on the back of it and then um, you're gonna see through it. And so if, it, if you see like a sticker that's on top with the napkin on top, you're gonna see that right through. So another cool thing, I don't know if you've ever seen these, but I, I had these Q-Tex uh, Care, they're Swipe and Go nail polish remover pads. And they're so great for a project like this because they just come, you get, I don't know how many in a box, um, 10 I think. And you know, it's got a moistened um, cotton pad with nail polish remover on it. And so then I just took those, wiped it off, and it came perfectly off. So a little tip about that. Okay, so for these, we're gonna need a whole napkin. I think I'm gonna do these with, uh, I love these though. I think I'm gonna do these with the hydrangeas. So you're gonna take one napkin for each. That, oops, there we go. And the plate is pretty small, so you can use this size napkin. So just make sure you separate it like this. And then you're gonna take your dishwasher safe Mod Podge and you wanna do this all over the back. So the entire bottom of your plate is going to get Mod Podged <laughs> like this. You're gonna go all over it and make sure you have a fairly even coating. It doesn't need to be thick at all, but go all the way to the edges because you're gonna wanna make it, you know, all the way to the edges, obviously. So I think, I think I got it all. Now I'm gonna take it and make sure you, you're taking it by the, the actual color side down. And we're just gonna lay it down over the plate. And start in the middle and just start pressing it outward. Some of this is going to crinkle up because you're doing this over a circular plate. So it's not gonna lay flat and the edges go down like this. So just make sure you're pushing outward and, and not putting bubbles in it, but it's okay if it is sort of crinkling up a little. And by crinkling up, I mean like these parts here, 
because you just want to make sure that you're getting it all around the plate. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna let it dry for a minute and do another one. So I'm not gonna make you watch me do all these, but I will show you the next step will be to take an X-Acto knife and cut around them. And then we're gonna do another, probably two coats after that on them. So I'll be back when that's happening. Okay, I am back. And I just wanna show you, what you wanna do is also, I think I told you backwards. After you lay the napkin on the back of the plate, then you wanna put the second coat of the Mod Podge, the dishwasher safe Mod Podge on top of it. And then you wanna let it dry mostly because then when you cut around it with your X-Acto knife, it's gonna hold it down. So you won't as likely tear it. Some places are gonna tear. So I just wanna tell you, don't be like stressed by that because like this one, for instance, I look how pretty that looks. That's amazing, right? Okay, so that one's still drying though. And I just pulled some of it off, that's okay. So I'm gonna show you on this one. And what you do, you take your X-Acto knife, and I know my family gets very nervous when I take X-Acto knife, but I'm very careful, and they're not the boss of me, right? <laughs> so you just wanna go along really gently. Make sure you have a, a sharp one. I think my blade is a little dull, but you want, just wanna go around the edge slowly and carefully of your plate, like this. And if you let that sec that coat of Mod Podge dry, it this is gonna be so much easier. If, for instance, a part of it should tear, and and it happens, believe me, I'll show you what you can do to fix it. And don't panic because it's not a big deal. You can fix it because this is decoupage, and so it doesn't matter if you get another piece and just stick it over the place that tore. And if you, especially if you don't have like a specific, real specific pattern that anyone is gonna really notice. That's why I kind of like these busier patterns on the back of them because people aren't gonna really notice if they're not the same. Cause I certainly didn't try to match them up when I put the napkin down on it. They're all probably gonna be a little bit different in the center but that doesn't matter. So you can see that one came off pretty well. This one, I started doing ahead. I got a little ahead of myself. And you can see these places where I've ripped the napkin. All you need to do there is dab a little of your Mod Podge and then take a little of the napkin that you were using, tear a tiny piece off and patch it. So make sure you're putting the colored side down and you're just gonna patch it like this and then, oops, and then go over it with a little more Mod Podge and let that dry completely. And then again, you can go around and make it even. So you can see definitely the difference between this one and this one where I actually waited. <laughs> but it's gonna need another coat. But anyway, that's what it looks like. And I think it's beautiful. And this is a great Mother's Day gift. I would love this as a Mother's Day gift. You can make it for, for anyone. You can make these for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button. And also you can hit the bell and then see when I've sent out a new video. So here are our finished products. These are the four glass plates. They look so pretty. I think anybody would love this as a Mother's Day gift, as a gift for something else, or just keep them for yourself, which I think I might do. <laughs> so thank you.